Let's have some beer! What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another daily drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a can of three weeks notice pomegranate wit beer by the Wellington Brewery out of Guelph, Ontario, coming in at 5% ABV. Um, yeah, I like me a pomegranate. I want to say I've had something beer wise with pomegranate in it at least once i have no recollection specifically of what it may have been but uh yeah i don't know i'm hoping hoping for goodness it's got a best before date of january i don't know currently in the eighth month it's august 1st right now so I'm assuming July or June, which would be the 7th or the 6th. Eh, it looks like they're going for about six months on this or so. I'm, I'm hoping that's the most they're going for. I hate best before dates. Let's crack this open and let's see what we've got. Really have no idea what to expect from this. Some nice nice prettiness with the pour get in there Ooh, yeah oh lovely picture a little bit on the hazy side comes through as really hazy in the camera weird how that happens but uh yeah it's not super hazy like looking through i can see the bottom of the glass through it kind of thing pretty easily there's a fruitiness there obviously the pomegranate and there's also a kind of typical wheat beer aroma. It's like kind of clovey or something. Yeah, clovey, maybe a bit of banana. Some of that bubblegum aroma. That's all there with the pomegranate. I'm hoping the pomegranate is the star of the show. Like you'd think it would be. Like so many beers are like, oh, look, it's a pomegranate beer. It's a cherry beer freaking stupid ipa had yesterday oh, let's get a shot there's like a a tartness it's definitely the pomegranate kind of sits like in the side of my cheeks and it assists the other kind of typical wheat flavors on their way down and makes them not so typical wheat beer flavors on their way down. It's not bad. Like, tip of wheat beers generally aren't really my thing. Them and the Belgians. Well, the Belgians. The yeasty Belgian beers. You know. Yeah. Sorry. Stupid random yawns. Let's do this. A uh, cheers, everybody. Mmm. Even less of the wheat beer taste on that drink. More of the pomegranate. Let's try it again. They're both the same. That's not bad. Not bad at all. One of the uh, tastier wheat beers, I guess, I've had. It not being a style I'm a huge fan of. Brewed by the three sis... Three, blah, 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 blah. Brewed by the three week sisters at our brewery, this hazy summer wheat beer with fesh... With fesh. My God. Brewed by the Three Weeks Sisters at our brewery, this hazy summer wheat beer with fresh pomegranate juice was voted People's Choice at Welly Cask Fest. We give you three weeks notice. Ingredients, water, barley malt, wheat malt, pomegranate juice, hops, brewer's yeast. God, that was... freaking terrible. There's two other takes that didn't even make it into that. Horrible. Horrible.
it's not bad at all. Wellingtonbrewery.ca. We'll bring you to Wellingtonbrewery.ca. It just was there. It's gonna, it's gonna come back around. I've had that one. I had that in their mix pack. Wasn't a huge fan. That's, there you go. That's not what I was looking at. Come on, they're right there. I want to try that four pack, but I don't want to pay shipping. I don't know. Anybody watching this that's coming north from the Guelph area, feel free to grab some beer and bring it my way. I'll pay you for it. Just, you know, I'll give you like 20 bucks in gas for like four breweries worth of beer as opposed to 20 bucks in shipping for each brewery's beer. Like, I want to do online stuff, but like the shipping costs, they. They accumulate. Like you look at one, it's like, yeah, it's like 15, 20 bucks for shipping. It's not terrible, but I want to also check out these ones here. It's like another 15, 20 bucks for shipping. And this one here, and I don't know. And each brewery generally only has a few beers that I'd want to order at a time, kind of thing. I like the whole way that a lot of breweries now are doing the online order thing but at the same time like in Toronto buying beer from any of those breweries and getting it shipped this way I just prefer to you know eventually get some time and drive down to Toronto and spend a day or two and go to all those breweries in person meet some people do a couple on location videos and then buy those beer while I'm there and it's possible doing it that way too. You might get in there when like they just released some new beer today or something and it's not even on the website yet. You wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to order anyway kind of thing. You know, ramble, ramble, ramble. That's what I do. Sometimes. A little bit. Not the best Wellington beer I've ever had. Not sure off the top of my head what that would be. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure I can vote on that in my own head pretty quickly. Come on. Why do you never load as fast as I want you to when I want you to? Mm. Come on. All right. We've I've had a few. Well, I guess I've had like two. What was it? Three. The rebooted ones. I've actually got three bottles from the most current one. I drank one. I can't. I think it was just the Upside IPA. And I was like, that's not anything that I need to review again. Which is there. That was actually a really good one. Uh, yeah. Bewitched their Belgian IPA. That was dangerous. Uh, the Cuckoo for Cocoa Husks was pretty good. Um, the actual, actually, the Wellington Imperial Russian Stout was bang on point. I want to say that's probably going to be the one that I'm most impressed with of all the ones I've had. That maybe I got pretty close race between that and the Upside IPA. If the Upside IPA is fresh, it's one of those beers where after like two months that hoppy flavor just falls off a cliff to its death. And the whole flavor profile of the beer changes and <clears throat> some people are okay with that. <clears throat> Myself, that's not the flavor I want when I buy that kind of IPA. And before I begin to just go rambling again, break time. Not bad at all. Really nice tartness from the pomegranate juice and uh, just kind of works. It works pretty well with the wheat beer. Wheat beers, I can't deny, seem to work pretty well with fruit added in. New Ontario makes their blueberry wheat beer. There's this. There's at least a couple others that aren't coming into my head right now because that's how well thought out that entire thing was. Right there. Damn right. 
What did I roll? Where's my freaking cursor? There it is. Untapped! 292 ratings overall with 3.48 out of 5, and that is the only website that has any ratings at all. Oh, we got some different stuff. They brought the recipe back for summer 2018. Didn't say that here, did it? So the, it won the People's Choice at the Cask Fest. So I guess they decided we're going to actually make it and sell it everywhere now. This classic wit beer has a hazy wheat body, slightly slight spice note, and a refreshing tart finish from the addition of fresh pomegranate juice. It'll be your favorite summer beer. We give you three weeks. No, it's not my favorite summer beer. I'm not really sure what I'd say my favorite summer beer is. But I'm, I'm sure I've had something that I was more impressed with. It's, it's good, but it's just not... It's a wheat beer. I can't see any wheat beer. I don't know, maybe if they'd like doubled the amount of pomegranate juice, so it became like a pomegranate beer more than a wheat beer, I'd probably be like, oh my god, it's so good. But as it stands, I didn't notice too, like there is a little kind of, it doesn't come through in the camera again, really at all. But there's a tiny bit of like a redness to the color that I feel like is maybe from the pomegranate juice. It's kind of cool. Drink number the last. It's pretty nice. I like it. I might actually buy another can. It's entirely possible. Just as something else to drink as in the break between IPAs and stuff that I usually buy by default. Wellington Brewery. Your three weeks notice pomegranate wheat beer hair or something on my face, like a cat hair or something, making me feel itchy. That's like an, I'm going to go 7.5. I would have said 8 if that wasn't the best before 8, because I don't know. Like, <clears throat> best before dates are not a thing. It's just, no, no, no. You say when it's canned. You can put both canned on, fresh until, or something like that. That'd be cool. I'd be down. But regardless, if you've had the beer, let me know in the comments down below what you think. And uh, as well, like, what is your favorite fruit adjunct wheat beer? Or just your favorite wheat beer? I don't know. Start the conversation. We'll go from there. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then punch that thumbs up button in its face. Yeah, a woo! And you want to see more, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know when new videos are released. And I will be back with another dungeon vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Looking at some of my older videos right now, and I can see two right now that would be like my current, I guess, summertime wheat beer would be the Muskoka Tropical Summer Vice. Their new version of it they came out with this year is really nice. I'm also seeing that City and Color Imperial Maple Wheat beer that I drank from Flying Monkeys. That was really nice. Um, Sawdust City's Bitter Beauty Wheat IPA. That was delicious. So there have been some good wheat beers I've had. And then there's just a few, another, a few more that are just kind of like... <clears throat> wheat beer. Wheat beer, wheat beer, a wheat beer. I'm done. By the Wellington Brewery, out of, how do I not know the Guelph? My God, are you kidding me? Guelph and 5% for fuck's sakes. Why don't I look into that before I die?